That's right, Paige. And that's because the man or the person, I should say, who shot that 16 year old is still on the loose. And where I'm standing right now is the intersection of Cardinal and Oriole. And I want to show y'all the street right now. You can still see the tire markings and the paint that the Springdale Police Department used during their investigation last night and into this morning. I spoke with a woman who lives three blocks from where I'm standing right now, and she could still hear those gunshots. She told me that because she's a mother, she knew she had to take action. So my first reaction besides my family being safe was, OK, I need to let the <clears throat> police know because what if that was a child, which unfortunately it was a child, you know, I wouldn't want my child to get shot and somebody not call the cops for me. Parker said this neighborhood is normally very quiet in all of her time living here. She's never experienced a shooting. That's why she felt the need to call police. Why it startled me. That's why at first I didn't know what it was until it just kept repeating itself. And I was like, okay. And then I heard another one that was different. And I was like, okay, that's not normal. Parker said she heard nearly a dozen shots fired from a few blocks away. You know, there's nothing that, that stands out that gives us a reason to believe that this area is any worse or more unsafe than any other area in the city of Springdale. However, the shooting suspect is still on the loose, so Parker chose to drive her son to school instead of letting him walk. He did not walk to school. <laughs> he got dropped off right at the door, and my niece's husband even walked him up to the principal so he could go into the door, because it was, it was scary. I, I was debating on taking him out of school because of what happened. Parker told me that since last night, she has avoided even driving near this intersection because of the incident, but she said she's grateful she decided to talk to police to share what she heard. Reporting live in Springdale, I'm Jamie Weiss, 4029 News. Jamie,